And we start off with City News. A 15,000 square foot space is seeking to open a black and worker owned knit factory at the peninsula in Hunts Point. Our Bronx Out reporter, Sanji Lopez, has the details. This 15,000 square foot space is empty now, but soon it'll be home to a black owned and worker owned knit factory, Katy, New York. I was a former dancer and we started uh, making dancewear. That was our, uh, and it is still is, uh, that was our original uh, mission. And I wanted to build a new state of the art manufacturing facility, which is what we're doing here in, in, uh, in Hunts Point. This wouldn't be the first time KD New York operated in the Bronx. The business opened a factory in the borough back in 1987. This new factory will be located at the Peninsula, a new development atop the former grounds of Spofford Avenue Juvenile Center in Hunts Point. Co-owner David Lee hopes this will bring a new era of development without displacement, environmental sustainability, and community wealth building. I, I felt very strongly about community ownership, com having a stake in the community, having a real place in the Bronx. I've been, you know, we were in the, we've been in the Bronx for over 40 years, and I thought that that part of it was important. So, um, as far as the uh, the employee ownership, that's always been been a major uh, part that I, that was important to me. What they're going to do is they're going to bring worker equity so workers will own part of the business. So of course there's an economic component. If the business does well, the workers who are also owners do well. But there's also a social component around democratizing the workplace. These workers can design their schedules. They can design important parts of their work around what they do and around their experience. So it's also bringing in what we call inclusive uh, economic development to the borough. Here I get access to media access to an incredibly coherent, together workforce. I get access to customers. I get access to talent all over New York City. Here in Hunts Point, that's what I'm gonna get, and that's what I wanted to, uh, that's, that's what I wanted to build and see, you know, flourish. The garments at Katy New York will be made of vegetable cashmere, a plant-based fabric composed of soy protein. We asked David what inspired this idea and about the process. I've been a vegetarian or a vegan most of my life. And I started looking at, I started doing some research. We were knitting quite a bit in cashmere. And I started doing research on the sustainability of cashmere about 10 years ago. And I saw that this is not really a sustainable direction. And I started thinking, well, you know, why don't you, um, think about an alternative. What would happen, what it would look like if we were the leader in upcycling plant-based waste into new fibers. And, 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 it, and, and if all of that happened at Hunts Point here in the Bronx. And that's kind of what we plan to build here at, in this location, in addition, to, in addition to advanced manufacturing and making this a the home base for KD. So there's a social good from thinking about sustainability in fashion, but there's also a workforce and an economic development component around bringing those type of jobs. So when that type of manufacturing comes back to a place like the Bronx, it is our responsibility to support it and also to think about amplifying it. KD New York seeks to provide up to 92 jobs by the year 2024, operating on a worker-owned model. They hope to become a leader in upcycling plant-based waste into new fibers locally here in the Bronx. Reporting for BronxNet, Sanji Lopez. And thank you, Sanji. In other news, Montefiore Mel Melodies hosts a group session for stroke recovering patients to help improve speech by singing holiday hits. Our BronxNet reporter, Carrie Moody, has a story. We are here at Montefiore's Moses campus. We are joining Montefiore Medleys. This singing group uses the technique of singing to help patients recover from strokes and other neurological disorders. We're here today to celebrate the holidays, of course, and bring together some of our patients who have suffered neurological insults in the hope of um, singing together as a group, as a choir, to improve um, their expressive language and their communication. Ricardo is a resident for physical medicine rehab who was a doctor in Colombia for eight years. But here's a little fun fact. He is also a trained opera singer. I really enjoy singing, so one of like the main objectives that I have in residency is to pursue performing arts medicine, which is just um, how we help artists and singers and dancers in a way of rehabilitation. We was fortunate enough to speak to a patient and survivor of a stroke. Dwight gives other survivors some encouraging words. Be patient. Do not be bothered about other people, you know? Um, be patient 
and you will find your way around. To find out how you can join and be a help to a stroke survivor, visit www.montefiore.org and click on Newsroom to find out how and when you can sign up for these singing sessions. For BronxNet, this is Kyrie Moody. And thank you, Carrie. That's all the time we have for our Bronx updates. We are taking a quick break, but we'll have more open when we return.